Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is my special day, an important day of my life here in America. Dahil today, meron akong interview for citizenship. Ayan, good luck to me. Papasok muna ako sa loob. I'll catch you back later. Ayan, tapos na ang aking citizenship. Andito ako ngayon sa cafeteria. Um, I just want to share with you what happened earlier. So, ayan, I arrived here at the federal building at uh, exact 8 o'clock in the morning. I took a bus earlier because it's hard to park over here. And it's easy for me because the bus uh, stop is just right in front of, um, not in front, but just across the street, like two streets away. So I decided just to take a bus. Anyway, so I want to uh, uh, share with you my experience in applying my N-400 application to be a U.S. citizen. So, pagpasok ko ng building, guard na sumalubong sa akin. Tinanong why I am here and then I said I have a citizenship interview. Then he asked me for my uh, appointment letter and then I show it to him and then he read and then he said okay. I went to the scanning door. Um, the guard told me to put all my belongings on the uh, card they scan it and then after like not even one minute it's done and then i took all my belongings the guard opened the door and then another security guard um come to me and ask me how they can help me and then i told him again that i have an interview and then he showed me the um elevator okay so i went up and another security guard a lady approached me how they can help me and then as i've said earlier i have an interview for my citizenship and then she asked me for my id and the uh, uh, appointment letter and then i gave it to her and then she asked me for my cell phone to turn up and then i turn up my cell phone and then she told me okay go to the uh, windows and then i go there i approach the window number five and then the woman who is in charge on the window number five asked me how can she help me and then i gave it to her my paper my letter of appointment Oh, not this one. The, I have this letter. This is two page. But um, when I gave it to her, the lady, the woman uh, in charge took my uh, the first page of this letter. So she returned it to me one page and my uh, driver license. And then after she did that, she told me to uh, sit in the sitting area and just wait to be cold so i went to the sitting area i waited for 30 minutes and then um, someone uh, called me he called my name gina katubig and that's me okay and the officer named uh, shield um hold the door for me we walked all the way at the end of the hallway to the right side and then there's a door again his office is located on the right side he opened the door again for me and then um he told me to put all my belongings on the uh, chair beside me so i put my bag over there and then he told me to sit down which i did and then he asked me my passport and id and green card so i gave it to him my uh, um, green card my passport and my ID he uh, checked the documents and turned it to me the ID and my passport after that he told me to 
um, stand up, to make a promise, to tell the truth, but nothing but the truth. So we make an oath. He told me to raise my my right hand and make a promise to say that I'm telling the truth, but nothing but the truth. And then after that, he told me to sit down and we will do the civic test. And then we proceed to the civic test. Uh, I will read it. This is my paper um, that uh, I wrote while I'm waiting to be called for the voting ceremony. So anyway, going back to uh, the civic question, he only asked me, uh, uh, he didn't say anything, but he told me, okay, let's proceed to the civic questions. And then he proceeded. And the number one question is, what does the judicial branch do? And the answer for that is, reviews laws. And the second question is, who is the commander-in-chief of the military? And the answer is the president. And number three question to me is, what movement try to end racial discrimination? And the answer is civil rights movement. And the number four question to me is what is the name of the president of the United States now? And the answer is Joe Biden. Okay, the number five question is what major event happened on September 11, 2001? And the answer is terrorist attack the United States. And the last question is who is in charge of the executive branch? And the answer is the president. Then he said, congratulations, let's proceed to the reading test. Look at your tablet in front of you and read it to me. The sentence board in front of me was Abraham Lincoln was the first president. So I have to say that, I have to read that to him. So the word is Abraham Lincoln was the first president. Okay, and then he said, good. Now let's proceed to the written test. And then he said, okay, I will tell you the sentence and you write it in the tablet in front of you. So um, the sentence um, that uh, he told is this one. Lincoln was the president during World War II. So that's the sentence that I have to write in the tablet. So I did that. And then after that, he said, okay, congratulations, you passed. And then now we will proceed with the uh, N-400 application. So he asked me my uh, uh, name, which I told him my name, Gina Katubig. And then uh, he asked me a question um, of my uh, address, home address, and then um i'm trying to remember um so after the address he um told me my height he told me my which i confirm he told me my uh, weight which i confirm and then after that uh, uh and then after that he read the application which i answered by yes or no all the questions there that you filled up in the N-400 application, it's answerable by yes or no. So he read that to me and then he, I answered that again too. And then after that, uh, he gave me a paper to sign and then he said, okay, congratulations. Um, you passed the, what you call that, the exam for civic test, for written test, for um, reading test um, now I will uh, recommend you for the approval of your citizenship and then he gave me paper to sign I confirm everything and then he gave me this paper
Okay, I cannot find my paper. Let me see. Oh yeah. He gave me he gave me this paper but I cannot show it because it's private. My information are here so I cannot show it. But it said naturalization interview result. And it said this um that uh you pass the english test and the u.s history and government test and then congratulations your application has been recommended for approval at this time it appears that you have established your eligibility for naturalization if final approval is granted you will be notified of when and where to report for your naturalization ceremony so um what you call that he gave me this paper he accompanied me to the door um he opened the door for me he accompanied me until the end and he said just wait to be called someone will call you and tell you about the oath taking so i waited for like an hour to be called and then finally um a guy came from door one and um he said that uh okay uh if i call your name you have to go to the door all the, and go all the way to the left and there's someone who will approach you on what to do and then okay so my name called and then i went there and then that's the oath taking ceremony then um when everybody is there the person in charge for the oath taking told us that now that we're now a citizen we can now petition our family and then if we have a child under 18 years old it's uh, automatically a citizen now they don't need to apply it's automatic and they said that we cannot travel after we walk away from the door after the ceremony because we need to apply for the passport and then the passport will uh, take uh, four months to um, get it so um, if you're going to travel soon you have to apply for the passport now because it takes too long so that's what i remember they told and then we uh, make uh, an oath we followed after her and then it only takes like i think two minutes or not even two minutes for the uh oath taking and then they told us that we are free to take pictures inside and um that's it so that's my uh, experience today on the next video i will share with you how i prepared for this uh important day of my life as a uh, uh united states citizen so for now um thank you so much and hope to see you again yeah so that's it so it's easy um i thought at first it's not easy i'm a little bit nervous but um uh, as long as you're telling the truth as long as um you didn't do nothing you don't need to be worried and it's very easy that's that's all that happened it takes like three hours i arrive eight o'clock i'm done 11 o'clock so eight nine ten eleven three hours i'm done and now i'm here at the cafeteria talking to you because i'm going to eat so for now um that's it thank you so much bye see you later